Thanks, Chewie. Uh, my intentions are to check up on HubSpot planning and see what the work team is at currently. Uh, my distractions are none at the moment. It's just morning and I'm having my coffee. And playlist. Uh, I don't know. I, it's just been random music scattered about and podcasts here and there. So, um, yeah, nothing specific. And I will pass it to Eskinoy. Um, hi guys. So for my intentions, uh, well, being part of this call and participate more with you guys. Uh, I don't have distractions at all at this moment. And in my playlist, I have uh, "Blame on Blame on Me" uh, from Yoli and Asia. I'll pass it to Turgadas. Yeah, as always, my intention is to give uh, unsolicited advice. My uh, distraction is my day job and uh, eating breakfast. Um, well, <clears throat> I don't really have anything on my playlist, but Tam's uh, thing reminded me of uh, an amazing YouTube story that I found about the girl of Ipanema. It's like an incredible story about how that all came about and everything it's worth looking at. <laughs> if you can find it, I'll, I'll see if I can see you, if I can connect you with that. It was really interesting. So, uh, yeah, much cooler, uh, thing about that than I realized. So, uh, and I'll pass it to, uh, whoever hasn't gone. I don't know. I can uh, let's it. throw it. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Great. Uh, so, my intention is to push param parties and give some insight there and uh, and try to make, figure out our plan for the last last week of param parties and the vote. And then uh, distractions, I'll probably be working on some giveth launch stuff uh, when things aren't relevant to me, but otherwise I'm very excited about uh, the pram stuff, so I will not be do I will be focused when we talk about those things. And uh, playlist Christmas music, man. I've been I've been playing it all. It's it's been so much fun. Uh, Lauren and I decorated the house. Mostly Lauren decorated the house. And uh, and uh, now and we just got into the vibes. We were buying some Christmas gifts and stuff like that. So it's been really fun. And I'll pass it to um, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos uh, are you there? Yes, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm worries. having troubles with my uh, headphones. Uh, well, mm, uh, on my playlist this week, I will say uh, Didn't I uh, of Darondo. Uh, my distractions, maybe. Uh, well, I have a uh, visit on my house. Uh, they are also working, but uh, if they need something, mm, probably will come to me. Uh, but that's it. And, and I, I think that's it. Juanca, mm -hmm. I, I think it's the last one. Yeah, um, a friend um, just shared with me um, um, a video um, of a music producer that is Circle that has like really cool videos in in very cool places in the world. And this one is uh, from Piedra del Peñol in Colombia. So I haven't listened to it, but I will um, listen to it. And I will share it in lunch. And um, my distraction is that um, I woke up with a little bit of headache. And yeah, that's it. I will pass to... Um, Chuy? Oh. Acid laser? I don't know if you went. Oh, acid laser, sorry. Intentions are just to sing with you guys and see what's going on with teams and distractions. I think I have no no distractions. And music, I have listening a lot of bands from Chile. Their they na their names are very weird, so I'm going to post it in in the cafe channel. Lounge channel. And uh, thank you. Back to you, Chui. 
Thanks, Acid Laser. Um, as for me, intentions, I would like to uh, lay down uh, an idea that I had for, for teams in order to be able to uh, activate some of the functions maybe a little bit uh, before uh, the comments upgrade. Um, so I wanted to present this idea. Um, distractions. Um, I'm, 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 uh, I'm just really like uh, short of breath uh, sometimes. Uh, yeah, like this thing and this thing have become my best friends this week. Uh, but it's already uh, uh, getting a little bit better. And regarding a playlist, uh, I've still been listening to the same uh, like 2021 uh, playlist. But I'd also like to share this thing. Yeah, <laughs> I got three copies on Amazon and they sent me six. So I have extra Christmas gifts now. Um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost halfway through it. It's a... Uh, it's a super exciting book. It's highly recommended uh, to everyone. So if you haven't read it, The Infinite Machine uh, by Camila Russo. Uh, yeah, Chile has been really present this week for me. I don't, I don't know why. Like I, I, I met with a Chilean uh, friend the other day. And yeah, Chile, is, it, it's been distracting this week. <laughs> um, okay, so let's um, <coughs> quickly go uh, over some of the team's uh, current status. Uh, and <coughs> so I would like to begin first with, <coughs> um, we are uh, most likely uh, adding like uh, different syncs for, for these uh, teams. So the idea is for this call to uh, become like an updates call and like a, a something that gathers uh, uh, updates from from these different teams so that we can present them in a more organized way to the community and and the uh so the idea is that these things will uh be able to uh lay down like most of the project management that goes on in in every team the translations uh team is uh, most likely going to take place in uh mondays at uh, 3 p.m est and 9 p.m cet um Hubspot, uh, Manu was presenting today in, in a similar way than uh, Escanore presented last week, uh, but uh, I couldn't reach him, so, so maybe we can catch up with that for uh, next week. And uh, mostly their sync time is uh, happening after uh, mm -hmm. translations, but probably Dergaras and Nate, uh, who are in that team, could uh, confirm if, if, if they are uh, available for this. Um, so this would be, uh, yeah, 4 p.m. EST and, and uh, 10 p.m. CET. Uh, does that sound uh, good with, with you guys? It would be a matter of only uh, confirming with Manu, I guess. On what day is this? On Mondays. Yeah, I can make that work. As Durgadas can. Yeah, well, um, it depends on the Monday, but um, my Mondays coming up are a little tough because I'm on, um, you know, uh, Christmas break. But yeah, <clears throat> generally, I would say Monday's probably my least busy day. Yeah, this uh, will uh, most likely be uh, become a little bit more regular during uh, January. Uh, for now, the intention is uh, just to start uh, organizing most of what's going to happen in the next in the next few weeks um so uh the t academy team uh, is most likely to sync on on mondays 11 a.m est and 5 p.m cet uh, and and, and I'm, I'm also going to be confirming with with uh anatech and uh and, and angela uh they have both been uh they have both told me that they are available at this time but i'm i, I just need to uh, double check to confirm this, uh, and eventually I'll be adding these. Uh, uh, I don't know if the calendar, uh, the 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 TEC calendar, would be a good option. Maybe we could have like an internal comms calendar, uh, just so that uh, so that it, it so that our calendar doesn't look like that, uh, like busy and like uh, like crowded with with events. 
So <clears throat> like a, a sub calendar and, and uh, the Discord event calendar, I think could be a, a good option for, for putting these uh, uh, team syncs uh, uh, out there. And also uh, animation and video production. Um, I think as it laser, it was just a matter of confirming with, with Alan TV if he was uh, available at this time. I know that uh, us three are, so uh, I just asked him to see if, <clears throat> if it's possible for him uh, to make it. Uh, and, and yeah, it, it would also happen on, on Mondays. Uh, about the Twitter planning, well, uh, this, uh, this sync time, it's uh, already happening on Mondays at uh, 12 p.m. EST and 6 p.m. CET, which is a, a, <coughs> a new time that uh, we suggested after, uh, after Ivy, Ivy had to uh, leave this. We used to have it uh, earlier because it was convenient uh, because of the Philippines time zone. But right now, uh, it looks like Mondays is going to be like a good, uh, a perfect time for syncing, uh, <coughs> starting to check what's going to happen uh, uh, during the week. And... Yeah, like move uh, forward uh, from there. So some of the ne next steps <coughs> for the teams, excuse me, g give me, give me like 10 seconds. I hate winters. Um, sorry about that. So some of the next steps that uh, we're going to be taking in uh, teams, um, uh, Tam, it's a, it's a great thing that you're here because I was going to ask you for uh, like a very, very like five minutes of tomorrow's uh, stewards uh, call. Uh, we would like to have like an, uh, a, 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 like a small advice process on, on, uh, uh, on the index, on the content index and, and some of the content that, that could be a good idea. Uh, so uh, the idea is that... Uh, we can uh, we can grow the 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 list that that was in the in the GitHub issue that that we had where uh, we were suggesting some of these uh, evergreen uh, articles and just uh, do like a general overview in which uh, languages this is gonna be uh, translated to. Um, I'm I'm sorry, something's wrong with my dog. Sorry. Who's working on that index list? Oh, back here. Uh, we were we were about to start this, but I think there's something wrong with the sponsor. Uh, we were gonna start uh, uh, to develop this with the rest of the of the team contributors, but um, I'm so sorry. Um, but today. Uh, Oh my god! I'm I'm so sorry. Like, give me a quick minute. Terrible, hey. horrible, no good, very bad day today. <laughs> is anyone here working on that index with Chewy and and the rest of uh, who who else is working on it? No. Okay. Cool. I think no. I guess maybe I'll I'll put this out uh, to everyone too. Is, is it cool with the dog? <laughs> I just want to. Can I make one comment about the idea of using a sub calendar? Um, yes, yes, please. I just I wonder if we use a sub calendar, if it will still be as open as it is to everyone in our community. If um, you know, if it's not on the TEC calendar for everyone to see it and sort of serendipitously, serendipitously uh, hop in if they want to. I'm sorry, Tam. Uh, could you repeat that? Yeah, sure. I was just saying about uh, having a sub calendar for some of the meetings. I was just wondering if it wouldn't be um, 
uh, if it would be less open to everyone in the community that way because new people in the community know to look on our calendar and if there's something that they think they have a matching skill set or can contribute to we'll be able to hop on but if it's not on our calendar they may not see it and we may miss the opportunity of having a good connection okay um i i have a question though is the google calendar still going to be like our like main calendar in in the i i would say in the next few months uh i don't so far i don't know of any other um alternative that we're considering you know the events on um the native events in the discord isn't quite robust enough yet to mm -hmm. yeah to take over those features okay okay so um would everyone agree that it's 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 okay if we uh add these to the google calendar even though it might seem a little bit more uh crowded i mean it, it's gonna be only on mondays and on mondays we already have kind of like an empty calendar um so so yeah that that's the only thing that i was uh like afraid of since since we have a uh a, a busier than usual kind of uh calendar um so so okay okay let's uh let's let's add this uh as soon as i can confirm this i uh i will add them uh through uh the day and uh where was i uh okay so so about the index uh good thing that uh, escanora just came back uh <clears throat> we're trying to put together the index but also based in uh taking in account like all of the the languages that we're also translating them to uh <clears throat> so so uh I, we, we we would like to uh just check like between the uh, like among the stewards if there are any uh priorities in 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 mind and just the general uh, impression of the first steps that uh, this team will uh, will take. Uh, this thing about setting uh, pre-production bounties is um, is uh, about uh, something that I was thinking about, especially with with all of the date uh, changes and all of this. Um, so I would like to have a more like straight up call with some of these uh, team members because um, they're starting to be like an elephant in the room and it's like, okay, so how will compensation work? And I mean, we all listen like all, to all of these like nine, nice things with uh, the reward systems and the proposal that we're putting together. But um, I feel that some teams have been taking steps uh, towards that. And uh, I really feel like bad and I feel that it's a limitation right now that we are not able to compensate this. So I wanted to start having a talk about having <coughs> uh, like short term like deliveries that consists mostly of guidelines of uh, in, in let's say for translation, this index uh, is, 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 is an example. I feel also the animation team uh, it's also going to start gathering a lot of uh, information and in, 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 uh, uh, like laying down what their workflow is going to be for for every project. Um, so I, I I I really feel good because this work like takes some steps uh, towards that. But there's an elephant in the room, which is like I mean, people should be also compensated for this. Uh, the T Academy team is also going to be doing like a lot of research. They're going to do like a deep dive on on the reward system uh, talk from uh, December the 10th. And, and, and I feel that uh, in, in a way, like we should provide this confidence of telling them, let's, let's put together like some kind of, uh, like, like, I don't know if calling it like a welcome package for like a lot of, a, a lack of a better word, but, but yeah, something that recognizes this work that has uh, been done in the past. <clears throat> in the past weeks um so uh so that people are are, are a little bit more motivated and, and engaged with this um let's say like for hubspot dergeras has been doing a lot of security advising on on uh, how hubspot is going to work so uh i would really feel good right if if uh our proposal uh, could approach this like hey Jurgeras, like let's let's compensate you for these like many hours that from from the past few months of for for all of this like security advising uh even though we're still like 
gonna be like starting cup spot and all of this like that doesn't mean that you uh helped a lot with uh with other stuff so uh this was an an idea that that i was uh i was thinking about um uh, and well yeah i would like to uh, uh listen to some of of uh the feedback and, and opinions that you might have uh around this uh i know that acid laser is also leading a lot of efforts in the animation team and in uh and, and he's been in, in the TEC for some months now, but Alan TV and John Jonas have also been doing a lot of work and have been uh, uh, present in, in, in uh, a lot of calls. And, <clears throat> and, uh, and I feel that this should be recognized. So how does everyone uh, feel about this? And I'll, I'll pass it to you, Tim, because I know that you'll have a really valuable insight on this. I mean, it sort of reminds me of the, um, the retroactive public funding, public good funding. <laughs> uh, if I understand correctly, the idea is that there would be a proposal that we submit along with the, the team's funding proposal that would reward retroactively work that's been done. That's the, that's the idea. I mean, I don't, nothing, there's nothing in it. There's nothing that makes, raises any alarms for me. Um, it seems like a, a fair proposal. It'd just be about getting enough, um, awareness of the work that was done and attribution of the work that was done to be able to to have it passed so yeah i probably. i would even consider it like including it in the same proposal just so that we don't have like another proposal on top of it uh but let's see how that goes with with the spending limits that are being discussed right now yeah i was also thinking that would make it a very big proposal Versus, you know what I mean? Like then you would be asking for maybe like more like six months total, right? Like the next three months in the bat. So that would make it maybe bigger than conviction voting would support well. Yeah, I mean, no matter what conviction voting proposal params are chosen, it will always favor breaking it up into smaller proposals. Uh, uh, but it just depends. Like it'll always be favorable to break it up into pieces. Um, does anybody else have like any uh, uh, opinions on this? Just like to say thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll be we'll, we'll be uh, uh, having some discussions around this and. Uh, once we set our um, weekly sync for every team, um, let's uh, let's do this. Let's like openly discuss like uh, how are like what are our expectations? Like how can we recognize this and eventually have this uh, like retroactive <clears throat> uh, like payments for for the pre-production work that has been uh, like going on? And and yeah, let's let's put it together as a as a as a proposal. Um, I have one more we, thought, actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Th there is one thing that uh, Griff shared with me, and I think that like solves a lot of problems, and is to include like a treasurer, someone who will be um, um, uh, in charge of of managing the funds, because that itself is it's a whole work, and um, like if you are coordinating the other teams and and you also have to do that you will be overloading yourself so it would be really good to um yeah have someone who can help on that side and maybe i'll just add one thing as i'm sort of thinking about okay let's see one working group does it but now if all of the working groups do it um just the i, I guess it's something interesting more like rather than back compensation something like a token of appreciation, like some kind of bonus for recognition of appreciation might make more sense. Um, because if I think if all of the working groups try right. to re re retroactively fund contri contributions, we would end up in, um, you know, I think we might end up with uh, difficulty in passing all of those. I second that. Okay, so let's let's go a little like a team bonus. It it might be a a, a better. 
Yeah, okay. something like that. Something like just a recognition of mm -hmm. all of the, the work that's been put in. And then I don't know what you find on a sliding scale what, what that right figure is, but that's really up to every working group. Okay. Um, so hey. the, the idea is for uh, translations and, and HubSpots to have uh, this. Also, the TE Academy, as, as I was uh, mentioning, uh, engaging with the TE Academy community, uh, like do uh, research on, on, on what they're doing, like maybe uh, catch up with like some recaps of, of, uh, con of, of previous content that they have. So um, putting together a proposal that familiarizes the team with, uh, with what's going to happen. Um, it's uh, it's uh, uh, something I feel that it's going to also like bring a lot of... Uh, uh, clarity to to what's going to happen in the in the next uh, in the next weeks um, regarding animation and video production uh, same thing establishing development guidelines uh, start development for um, like an, an actual like first project that we have for this team which is the uh, the quantifiers like 101 um, we're putting together like 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 small uh, videos that will uh, briefly explain new quantifiers like what their uh job is like the the expectations like what it means to the community so these are all uh gonna be like through uh animated uh videos um and and uh all of this like development like before going uh, to pre-production just having a, a development that can uh be presented in a way that the community has a clearer idea of of uh of what to expect from the, from these uh, from these productions, and also about Twitter, I feel that the Twitter planning team is like pretty much like a function uh, a functional uh, team right now. Uh, but I also feel that there could be like other kind of uh, resources that we could explore for the f final funding proposal. Uh, so this is something that I'm still going to be talking to uh, Zero about, and. Well, yeah, token of our appreciation, team bonus rather than retroactive. Uh, rec <laughs> hmm, sorry. Um, okay, so does anybody else have uh, anything that they would like to uh, uh, go through? I know that, Griff, you have some... Um, Concerns about uh, promoting debates. Uh, so I would like to uh, listen to this, and I don't know, maybe we can pull off like some kind of uh, like bow up dynamic or something like this that can be interesting and, and simple to solve as well. That would be cool, promote it through POAPs. I mean, it wasn't really a concern. It's more just like an update from Prams on, uh, on like how we can rally the final uh the final like a uh, few debates that we have we are trying to narrow the times down and so we have a few that are in europe and a few that are asia friendly but mostly are in that band of like most people can go in the world uh and we're also like the the pram calendar is up to date i don't think we're going to add any more so if we do, it's because there's some top token holder or something who really needs to be informed. But um, we're also going to do like a final pram, two hour pram debate at uh, nine. Well, it's 9 a.m. Costa Rica time, uh, 4 p.m. Europe time uh, on Tuesday. And that, so that will be um, uh, we're canceling the prams call, TEC prams call. In fact, it'll be, I think it's gone forever. So I'll just delete all of that. So that's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, and just trying to figure out how we can, like, you know, really push out these debates and make sure people know. I think Edu is going to, Eduardo is going to, like, pass it around to the token holders and do the classic Hatcher outreach thing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Just wanted to say, like, pram parties are set. Let's let's get people there. The final debates. Okay, uh, Acid Laser. Do you think we could put together like a cool design for for debates, like something that suggests um, politics, fun, <laughs> like like 
just some of what we're going to be seeing in, in, uh, in the debates. For sure. Uh, also, we can post uh, a tweet with the, the December POAP, so maybe that can help to get more people. You know, people love POAPs. People so love POAPs. You can show the POAP and maybe some new people come, come in. Cool. When POAP, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's work on that. I'll, I'll <clears throat> touch base with you. Um, what's the, the, the least amount of time that, that you take, I mean, with everything going on with POAP and how they're trying to control this, um, what's the least amount of time in which you could uh, have it ready? And also, uh, I'll talk to Vibe IV because I think also that the, uh, the Discord POAP vote uh, was, was ready. Um, but when can we start giving these out? Um, if, if I made it the design an event today, maybe tomorrow. But manual with, with the links, I, I don't know how to do it with the, with the bot. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Let's let's do them manually. Like we we don't uh, we also don't. Uh, I don't feel like we're gonna have like huge like people that we need to keep track of. Um, probably like ten, <clears throat> fifteen attendees at the most. Um, so so let's uh, yeah let's uh, let, let, let's have this one ready. Uh, I also know that they're gonna be like uh, really interesting guests in the in the next uh, in the next week. So yeah, we, we want to give them pop-ups, right? Like we want them to uh, to have this pop-up. So let's put uh, let's put this together and and yeah, have them ready uh, uh, as soon as as soon as possible. Um, okay. Um, well, I'm I'm pretty much like done with uh, the agenda topics. Uh, but uh, are there any other uh, issues that someone would like to raise? Again, I, I apologize for making today a, a, a shorter uh, call. Uh, I know that it doesn't look like it, but um, I'm feeling better. So, uh, Yeah, I have to admit, I'm super worried right now. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I it's, really it, have it, a it, comment to it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, we were talking on Twitter thing to in every community call at the end do a, a smiley a screenshot of anyone who who wants to join the, the the picture to upload it to Twitter and and that stuff. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is a great idea. Yeah, uh, it, putting everyone yeah, else in context. Like tradition. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it could be a new tradition yeah. in every community call. Uh, Miley picture at the end. Uh, maybe, maybe at the beginning, uh, in between praise, like uh, right after praise, everyone yeah. feels a high, you know, and yeah. uh, we could we could carry that vibe through. Uh, and I can also just put yeah. in the announcements, so we do it every time. Yeah, giving one, uh, giving everyone else like a little bit of context. We were wondering in in the Twitter sync, like, how could we like improve engagement? And we realize that uh, tweets that uh, have like human faces or, or any kind of like forms are very effective. Uh, so we started using screenshots from calls, but it was weird because everyone was like this in Discord. Uh, and we were like, oh, I'm wondering if we have like more calls with more smiles. Uh, so yeah, so, so this is, this is <coughs> some of the context and, and the idea behind uh, doing this. Uh, uh, smile, uh, Snapchat in 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 every uh, community call. So I I know that the, the, these these ideas are like the the small big differences. Uh, I I really like them. Uh, so yeah, if in case we forget, uh, please make sure you uh, remind us for the community call. Tuesday.
Yeah, thank you, Sefti. Um, this, can anybody else uh, like think of uh, like any other more stuff that we could do like at the, in in the in the short term? Um, like I, I mean, pubs are great. Pubs are fun, and, and people love them. But but yeah, like we need to get like as many people engaged as possible. Um, I feel that uh, naturally people could be like more inclined to participate and and have an opinion during debates. Uh, compared to, you know, like putting together a whole proposal and getting the whole dashboard. So, so can, can anybody else feel, uh, uh, think of any, oh, okay. One hype TV. Tweet it. Okay. Um, can, can anybody think of some, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. What do you awesome. feel about the? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. What? Just I'm just jumping quickly. What that reminds me of is like having little clips. Like there have been some great scenes from the from the debates. I don't know if we have any recordings of them, but there have been some like really funny moments or like really insightful, um, uh, insightful analysis. And maybe just like five second clips of those moments could be something that are are you know video bites that people would be interested in, that would attract attention. Are there any recordings on, on YouTube, Septi? Yeah, I just, there's, there's like a really great moment at the end of a communitas call where we did it, but unfortunately, like that's when we weren't recording, like the, my laptop blew up and couldn't record, but it just calls to mind, like, I, I kind of wanted to be like, oh, this is the greatest moment. I wish we could share this. And it's just the interactions between people about certain parameters or certain ideas, which was really cool. And I, I guess it's worth, uh, Chewy, you and I weren't able to sync this week, but I talked with uh, T. Wells about... Um, how we can highlight TEC or Common Stack and which one we would do first. And we've sort of triangulated on it being Common Stack, I mean, uh, sorry, the TEC and the, the params dashboard and then other working groups. But it would be recorded next week and then it would be released the first of the first week of January. So it would be too late for for this particularly. But if they have something that's coming out this week, maybe they could put in like a 10 second promo for you know, for the dashboard, um, something just like this is, you know, like, you know, 20 seconds, like something really short, just as a teaser, um, could be another idea. Yeah. I'm also thinking around like 15, 30 seconds at the most, um, just some like, uh, like, yeah, like exciting music and, and, uh, uh, those those insights that that we always try to uh, put out there, like want to build a 1.5 million dollar economy, um, do you want to become a token engineer? Like all, like these like bullets like out there, uh, small demos of of the dashboard and uh, some of the moments where uh, people are having fun like discussing this. So uh, it would be like a teaser trailer inviting people to participate. Um, I could put it together pretty easy. Like I I I, I uh, Remember the 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 video from uh, from uh, the on conference in 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 Paris. Uh, so I could I, I could use that same uh, those same like templates and and uh, I know that Acid Laser also has like some uh, animation projects already uh, put together. So uh, 
Yeah, let, let's let's hop on a call uh, uh, today, Asset Laser. Uh, we we probably can uh, figure out a lot of stuff and and start with this promotion and and pow ups uh, for the debate. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll promise I'll put a special effort uh, on this. And uh, does anybody else have uh, anything else? Any any uh, other topics? Okay, um, I guess uh, we can uh, wrap up this call. Uh, I'm just gonna write really quick, Miss Liao and Casale, that we're in the call today. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, being here today. Thanks for your patience uh, with uh, my shortness of breath. And, and yeah, I'll, I'll see you uh, all during the week.